Okay, so we've pulled up skunkatebase.com. So you've got a, a holding holding page on there with a, an email opt-in. And mm -hmm. we're looking at a big background image of the um, the item itself. So, Correct. so talk, talk me through what we're looking at. Okay, so this is the actual container that I actually build. Um, so this is what you. This is the product that you would receive uh, minus the parachute inside. Um, so, oh, so is, is the parachute additional to your nine forty seven? Correct. Yeah. I see. And and you can buy that separately and pack it yourself. Uh, yes, you can buy it separately, pack it yourself. You can also buy it through me. Um, if if you go if you want like the certain manufacturer parachute, then uh, you can buy it through me, and I I can get a deal on that. So. Okay, so the construction's mostly nylon, is it? Um, it's um, the green stuff you're seeing is Parapack. Um, I also use Cordura. Uh, there's a diamond rip stop that I use. Oh, so they, these are advanced materials. Yeah, they're they're specific materials that mainly a lot of you'll see in the skydiving industry and the base industry as well. So great. All right, and so. It seems to have a, a, a furry strip down the back. Is is just is that to do with the skunk branding? Um, yeah, the uh, the embroidery. That's one of my that's one of my logos for the embroidery. So cool. Yeah, and that's what I put on the rig. Yeah. So it, so I'd imagine this is visually fairly distinctive. Uh, yes. Um, you know this logo right here. Um, it's it's hard to read. Um, it what but what it is is it's an ambigram. Um, mm -hmm. It said if you look at it one way, it'll say skunk ape base, and if you turn it upside down, it will also say skunk ape base. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, a lot of people don't know what it says, mainly because they don't really know about my company, but I kind of want to get it to so, you know, you see that logo and you now distinguish my company with that logo. So, yeah, yep, it's great. Um, so, so I, I can see you've got a kind of kind of a leg harness and and straps to go over your shoulders. It yep. attaches at the front and all very, very tough, very modern materials. Correct. Yep. Okay, so how does it? How does this thing deploy? Um, so you throw a pilot chute. Uh, pilot chute's attached to the bridle. Um, so you, you jump up, jump off of that thing in your hand. Um, and let it no, go. you can either leave it on the bottom of the container or jump it with your hand, either or. Or you can have a friend hold it, um, and then it, it, the bridle, the pilot chute will extract the, pull the bridle, which the bridle then opens up the container, which then um, uh, pulls the parachute out. Okay, so how how can I understand? I mean, it's not critical, but I'm I'm really interested. How how can I understand yeah. why this flap is superior? So this flap, so the flap is the white part that you see, um, mm -hmm. and it tucks into the two blue stripes that you see. Yeah. Um, and this flap is actually attached at the very top of the container, um, kind of near the where it says Yeti up there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where it's attached. Most flaps are not attached to the top. They're actually attached to the left side, um, which would be, if you're looking at the picture, it would be the right side of the yeah. picture. Um, so it's, a, it's actually attached in there. Um, and when it's attached in there, the bridle um, can get hung up on the bottom of that flap and where it's attached to that the whole side of the container okay so uh -huh. what's the bridle where, where is the bridle on this uh, the bridle you cannot see it the bridle is hidden so so that's under the flap is it it is yep okay so you're you're getting more of the flap out of the way yes the, when, when you uh, jump because it's only attached by a couple of inches at the, the top end Yes, and so how this design is better is the bridle can actually go to either side. It can go to either side of the flap. It can go to the left side of the flap or the right side of the flap. Whereas other manufacturers, it can only go go to like the left or the right side of the flap. If it if it goes to the left side and it gets hung up, then you got a problem. You know, does that make sense? Yeah, and I'd imagine you know if anyone who's tried to uh, you know to wash or scratch that particular part of your back that's one of the most you know it's practically the only inaccessible part of your body to reach with your hands especially in a hurry yes so you, yes. it's not like you can reach round easily and and you know tear that thing out no not not necessarily <laughs> well so yeah it's a great looking piece of kit thanks 